Documenting 3D objects in AutoCAD is not as difficult as some people might believe. Um, AutoCAD over the past couple of releases has introduced a, an automated function uh, to be able to document your, um, your, your drawings. So the first thing to do is once you've drawn up your 3D object, you can go to your paper space. Um, and I've set up my AutoCAD that it automatically creates a viewport. Um, I'm just going to go and delete that. Um, now, in your layout tab <clears throat> on the top right hand side of here, you'll see there that we've got a create view, a modify view, and an update. Now, under your create view, you'll see that we've got a base view. And there's two different ways you can create a base view, either from model space or from an inventor model that you've brought into AutoCAD. So I'm going to do from model space, as that's where my model resides. And it will then now go into my model space and look for the any 3D models that I've got there. So now what's happened is it's brought it in over here, um, and I can go and change my view if I so on. So you can see at the top here, the ribbon has changed. So if I want to take a look at the back, you'll see that it changes it, you know, south uh, southwest isometric view. Um, let's go take a look at, you know, the current view is sitting like that. Top view, you can just see how it changes over there. So I'm going to take a look at my front view. Um, and I'm going to place it down. Just before I do that, I just want to go to the rest of these commands. So you've got hidden lines. So you can see I want visible lines, visible and hidden lines, shaded with visible lines, and shaded with visible and hidden lines. Okay, so um, and then I can also change my scale. Okay, 1 is to 50, get it a bit big. Let's make it 1 is to 100. Um, and then I'm going to go and place it down. Okay, so once it's placed it down, I still have the option to move it around if I do not like my placing. Um, and I do like it, so I'm going to click on OK. So immediately what it does, it then goes and now uh, transmits the, the side view, the, you know, the top view and the isometric view as well. So just by dragging it around, you'll see that it'll give a preview of what the view is going to be that I'm going to create. So I'm going to select that view. Uh, we can just put that over there, and then the view that I want actually looks like that. Right click and enter, and it puts down all my projected views. Okay, so if I select this view over here, I'm able to go grab that, uh, uh, grab the view and just drag it up into the top over here. Okay, my paper is a bit small, so I can go change my paper size. Go to my page setup manager modify and let's just go change that to an a3 so with it being bigger like this now i can actually go and, and position it nicely to where i want it to be you'll now notice that i can't drag this view to the right hand side and you'll see there that there's a line a dotted line linking uh, these two views now that's because these views are you know, generated from this base view over here so it's actually linked to that base view so if I grab the base view, you'll see there that all three views move as well. Um, you'll also notice on every single time I select a view that it's got this little uh, drop down or a little um, uh, yeah, drop down, and there I can go and change the scale. If I change the scale of my base view, it'll automatically change the scale of all my other views as well. Okay. So what else can I do um, in, in this space? So I can do another projection if I wanted to. So I select the view that I want to project, and I'll go and project a view from there. Um, I can also do section views. And you can see there I've got different types of section views I can have, full section, half section, offset, aligned, and from object. I'm just going to do a full section to show you how that works. And I'm going to do a section from this view over here, and I'm going to place my section straight down the middle. Selecting my uh, F8 for my author, so make sure that it goes straight down. And once again, you can see at the top there in the ribbon, um, it changes to, you can change some of the properties. So I can change here uh, my, uh, my scale if I want to, if I don't want to take it from the parent. The edge visibilities, if I can make it hidden lines removed or hidden lines showing. Um, I can also put an identifier on it, so you can see there is the A. Um, I can show my view label, and then I can show hatching as well. So I'm going to bring this out into the middle over here and place my view once i've done that once again the move button shows up so i can go and move it around if i wanted to i'm just going to go click on ok and you'll see there that my section view gets generated okay 
Now, if I move my section line, notice how the section changes. Okay, so that section view is actually dynamic. Okay. Okay, so something else that we can also do with this is besides sections, you can do detail views as well. Now, my detail views, views I can either do as a circular or rectangular detail view. Um, so circular, let's go and choose um, this view over here. And I just want to go and have detail from that section over there. Okay. And it goes and it will give me some details over there. Now, the options I've got for this is I can have uh, the model edge can be smooth with border or just smooth. So smooth with border, it'll do, you can see there, there's a preview of the border that it's going to draw. I can also do smooth with connection line. So it's going to do a connection line to um, the detail view. Or I can have jagged edges as well. So you can see that. So I'm just going to do smooth with section view. My view label is B. Select where I want my view to be and then right click and enter. So now what it's done is it's given me a, um, a detail, blown up detail view of um, that's over there. And, and once again, if I do change the size, it'll change the size of the detail view as well. If I select edit view, I can go edit the view and there it allows me to change my, my scale. So maybe I want it to be different over here. So maybe one is to 50. So it's now different to the, the parent view over there. From parent, um, as well as maybe I want it to be shaded. So it gives the clients a better view of exactly what, um, of what they are getting from this 2D drawing. Okay, so that's just a quick little overview of, of how quick and easy it is to uh, generate your, your drawings um, in, in AutoCAD from your, from your 3D model. Thank you very much for listening.